Hello, Ceaseless Challenges, this is Crimson, and you are watching some Dark Souls. Now we're picking up where we left off after besting Chester, after coming back up through our shortcut from the Cavern of the Abyss, Chasm of the Abyss. So let's get right back into it. The Abyss, that is. The Chasm. It's over here. In this area. The secret elevator. It's very, very handy. Also, I bought 999 arrows from Chester before I killed him. So weird. Mm. Hey guys, how's it been? Um, you're spooky. I don't want to deal with you. I'm going over here. Now, oh, do I need to get that cat for the event that trigger? Oh, I do, don't I? All right, cat. I'm I'm coming for you. You're not gonna get away from me. Yeah. Spooky ghosts, shadows. They look like humanity, don't they? Are they just floating humanities? Can I collect them? Use them to raise my humanity. What? This? Not the hole? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Some, something's wrong here. Um. Hmm. I think I'm doomed. I think it's over. Well. I wanted to show something cool off. Maybe I need humanity. No, I don't. Did I really do this wrong? I did it wrong. I'm terrible. Okay, so you're supposed to chase the cat here. And get a very special event. By the way, you can hit these ghosts just fine. Just fine. Just quail on them. And if they touch you, they hurt. Don't give you much. But they're scary. Very scary. Look at them. And um, also it has these little glowing orbs. Which is why I uh, put my hat on the first time was that these stones made me think there's surely going to be something hiding there. Like it's one to carve up. So you, do you think there's something hiding behind all these guys? Cause there's, there's a lot of them. And these little kid ghosts. Who murders a little kid ghost? There's just nothing behind them. Why would I try jumping? Our cat. I, I've seen past your crazy ways. Of owls. Because my leg got hurt. I don't even hear this time. What am I missing? That's, that's the whole... Oh my god, I'm dumb. <sighs> ah, so... What am I doing wrong? Do I need to be human for this event? I'll, I'll go back and become human. Or is it an actual illusionary wall? Uh, okay, so. Going through here, you see a lot of spooky ghosts. Little, little baby ghost. Baby. Baby ghosty. Hey, hey ghosty. I'm gonna chop you to bits. You, just, you want a hug? I'm not gonna give you a hug. My sword will give you a hug. Just stand still. So what are the big ghosts? Wait, are, are the big ghosts man ghosts? And the medium ghosts are lady ghosts? And the small ghosts are just child ghosts? So does anyone recognize that fellow? In the circle? Look familiar? That, that hound with the sword in its mouth? Trying to, trying to touch him? It's not working, is it? Aha! Chopping you guys to bits! Choppy choppy. Chop. Ooh, loot. <laughs> Take it, a giant ghost made of humanity would have humanity. Oh, can I push you? Go! Fly! Go! Yes! Haha! <laughs> I pushed a ghost off an edge and it died from falling. Hey, hey doggy, I saved you. Oh. I kill you in the future. And he drops the cleansing great shield. Uh, so let's have a look at that from here. The cleansing great shield, 31 strength, which isn't bad for a great shield, but notice that 80, 80, 80, 70 with 77 stability stat on it. This is pretty intriguing. Uh, great shield, the steel great shield used by Knight Artorius to succumb to the abyss. Artorius, deeply scarred by the abyss, used this to form a barrier to protect his compatriot, Sift. 
Zip. Ugh, I'm never going to be able to read these, right? I'm terrible. Although this drained the shield, its magic defense remains high. So, this, here's what it looks like. It's pretty thin for a great shield. Uh, I don't think there's anything special about it. Except for its ability to remove someone's ability to speak. It's pretty impressive. Aha! Wielded in full, both, hand, both hands. Oh, you're killing me, shield. You're killing me. Okay, so, we can switch from city hat to regular hat. It's not that dark. I'm just playing ghosts around to guide our way. We really got lost. It's been spooky all the time. Alright, so I've been down the other way. What's down this way? Ghosts? Hey, ghosts. Oh, is that a shortcut? I'll, I'll tear through you. I got decent damage. There's, there's a lot of you. I give you credit for that much. You have numbers going for you. Now what else? What else is around here? More of you? How many of you do you need? So is there actually something? Nope. I could I could check some of these off. Well, that's not coming back. Nothing. Okay. Alright, I'll I'll go murder your family. It's fine. There's your family of ghosts. Yoink! Ah, black flame. Now. Murdered! Nope. Oh, got me some twin humanities again. It's awfully nice. Oh, just one. You know, your, your dad didn't collect too much humanity. Oh god. Well, this has gotten pretty pretty scary. Let's, let's not deal with that anymore. And go back. Okay. So we have a nice shortcut area. That Black Flame is. Uh, let's check out Black Flame. Since all of these Wissiel DLC land spells are actually pretty good. Be sweet. Pretty awesome. Pyromancy. Discover Dark Abyss Pyromancy. Blah blah. Conjure great Black Flame in one's palm. Black Flames are weighty. Alright. Well, not looking at that didn't tell us anything. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good at things. Okay, so if you can't tell, this is the area where uh, stuff is. A lot of it. Uh, uh, let's take that troll's advice, huh? Try jumping. Be wary of left. Kill ghost, baby. Try jumping, you say. Oh, humanity. Jump for humanity? Man, I see this little ledge. I don't see anything else. Except for a whole horde of bad guys to go through now. Fantastic. Um, by the power of the roll ability. These things are still spooky. Alright, shining lights. Dead guy. Hey, dead guy. You dead. Someone broke your pillar. It's not It's not a healthy... Ha healthy? Happy, healthy... Help, 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 help. That, that shield, it got me. It's blocking my speech. Nice friend humanity's hiding there. Nice. Ominous, ominous edge. Oop, there's a sign. Can we, can we walk? Oh, we got some. Okay. White Titanite Slab, an extra one. For upgrading all your divine weapons, because you have plenty of them. Things to upgrade. Humanity, mine. Not yours, mine. Uh, amazing item had a White Titanite Slab, yeah. No, oh, walking up down there, did nothing. So, uh, I'll, I'll demonstrate this little trick since I have the opportunity. Although, I don't think I'm going to need it. But, um, using a bow and, say, 99 arrows that you purchase from someone, you can do a nice trick here. Or not a, a nice trick, an evil trick. If you saw those regular guys. I guess I could get closer since range is damage. And I don't think I can even make that angle. But uh, I think you can understand what I was trying to get at. Now, uh, you know what I'll kill these guys too, since they're guarding something. They're children, that's what they're guarding. I'm not gonna let that happen. All the children's souls will be mine. I'll turn them into endurance points. Yes. Soul of a hero. 
So you can see some nice glowy eyes down there, can't you? It's like uh, something, something pretty deadly down there. Hmm. Even a close range battle. So you can see it down there. And if you fire using uh, not this aim that can't aim down very far, but using your camera to center it where you want to aim. And aiming your character. Let's see if we can get a good shot off. Put it in the right spot. Just gotta just aim the camera right. Have a good bow. Let's see if we can do it from over to the side more since we're not hitting that wall. Oop, it's not where I wanted you to shoot that. Is that it? Nope. A little higher maybe. A little higher. Little higher. Okay, that's probably too high. I was even at you. Maybe it's because I'm not using the right bow. I'll, I'll get it once. Or maybe they patch this. Ah. Oh. Maybe? Well, this is a cheesy tactic if you're having a lot of trouble with this boss. You can get a bunch of arrows from Chester and just shoot him to death. Not even having to fight him. Although your arrows do do more or less damage based on range. So this can be a very long time. Very time consuming thing. If you finally get it right. Which I probably won't. That's okay. We don't want to cheese this guy anyway. Well, I'd want to get one shot off at least. Come on. Be nice to me game. Just want one. Just one, please. No? I mean, maybe my arrows are just losing all their damage before they're getting to them. Probably. Why won't you die? Why? My arrows are so weak. I want you to live no longer. Okay. Well, that's a tactic. Now, if, you, if you're really having trouble, you can try that. So let's head through the white lake. See him for real. Where is he? Well, he's down there. So jumping. Like before, when he jumped to the four kings in the abyss. Oh, he's using humanity in it. Oh. Hair teeth. Ow. That was a pretty long fall, too. Can't be comfortable. I'm fine. So, one important thing before you get into this fight, make sure you grab the silver pendant. It'll be important. It'll be very useful. You have goat horns, hair, toothy monster, and, and gorilla hands. Manus! Manus, ow. That was a very wide swing, sir. And my poise did nothing. Ah. Ah. Alright, alright, close range time. Ow. Ah. Oh. Oh, you have snake, snake carry on. Aha. I'm doing like nothing in terms of damage. Are you fire resistant with your giant hairball? Oh, it's slamming. That's grabbing. Oh, you have an arena order. What a. What a. I should really get another weapon. Oh, you jumped. Got the hops, sir. Now let's walk away. Let's walk away. We don't need to put up with him. Now. Like he doesn't need to put up with us. Uh, stamina good? Yep. May have to go with the Black Knight Sword again. We'll see how this does. 120. Oh, this could be a very long time. Very, very long time. Oh, I want to get away from that because he'll juggle you. Uh, hey, give this time to equip the Black Knight Great Sword. Oh yeah, he juggles you with that attack. It's not very friendly. Ah, there we go. That's damage. Look at this damage. He's, he seems like he'd have a tail that he could cut off, doesn't he? Doesn't, doesn't this tail look like you could totally cut it off? Come here, tail. Do a backwards hand grab thing. Alright, I'm gonna heal up in case you get me with this juggle. Again. Good thing I did, huh? Had timing. 
Although with all my armor resistances and health, I'm really not that phased by him. Oh, well, I am sometimes, I guess. Just stop it on me. What are you, a boss? <laughs> no way. Wow. Tail! Hurrah! Oh. I tried. Made an effort. You, you slamming? Is he trying to eat me, or is he just trying to smash me with that hand? Because it is his teeth. You think he has, like, other teeth? Those are just his, like, big catch teeth? Has he evolved into new, some new form of digestion? Okay. Uh, that's why you need the Silver Pendant for attacks like that. But, uh, being nice and close, you can get to the other side of his hand. And not have to worry about it too much. Oh no, not the juggle! Anyway, if he hits you with any part of it, he'll get the full juggle on, so be careful of that. I have my silver pendant out. Um, you can remove all the items on your bar except for silver pendant and flasks to make this a bit easier on yourself. Although I'm, I'm not smart like that, so I didn't. Or dodge that attack either. Because I want to show off him doing one of his big attacks like this one. That just attacks you from every angle and you can't avoid without the silver pendant. Which is why it's very useful to have here. Unless you want to try to survive that attack. Which is tough. Especially when you stomp it on your head. Like a giant monkey or something. And you don't even have enough time to roll after popping a heal. What are you doing? That, of course. So, you need about two times, two or three times to block it all now. And that one's quite hard to get, get all of. You can attempt to dodge it, but it's very tricky. Especially trying to dodge it a lot with a boss with this much health. It's quite high. It has a lot of the, the health stuff. He's very mobile. Likes to do close range attacks. Jeez! Can you calm down? Um, poise is definitely helpful here. Because he has that leap attack, he'll likely do a lot on you. Uh, that can hit you twice, and because I have uh, such high poise, it didn't stagger me and do that double hit that it likes to do. Luckily, he yells after that, giving you a chance to heal up or hit him, or not giving you a chance to heal up or hit him. There we go. Ah, double, double swing. You are being very upset because I have your health low, are you not? So I can't even heal anymore and you're jumping away from me every time I attack. Ow. There we go. Now I can get in on you. At least one. Maybe two. And I'll just I'll just zerg it. There we are. Tank it. And that's Manus, Father of the Abyss, defeated! We got his soul. Which can be either turned into a spell that you get from sparkly snuggly snuggle sparks. Or it can be uh, turned into a catalyst. It's very interesting to find out. Now there's another thing down here. If I can find it. I did it! Yay! Again, being really tanky and having a good poise. So there's this mysterious hole here that uh, kind of has a lady in it and stuff. But ah, uh, and you notice how we rescued Sif from that circle he was in, killing the ghost around him. Um, by doing that, it'll cause his soul sign to appear in the middle of this fight, and you can summon him if you have humanity or if you're hollowing his reverse, not hollow. And you can summon Sif to help you in this fight. Although it is a bit difficult because you have to summon him into the fight in the middle of the fight. But he can help you out if you're having trouble with it. It's a nice nice little touch. So we have saved the day, I believe. I, maybe. Maybe. Is, is there really not? I thought there was a lady here. Because I saved her. She got kidnapped and stuff. No. I'm crazy. Just dark abyss down here. Ah, oh, there she is. Hey, lady. 
You're safe now, I think. Just, just panicness. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Thank you so much for watching, and my hat is off to you.